What's up, y'all? I'm Anatolia Valeranda, and this is In The Know Glow Up Garage, where I show y'all how to do simple DIY car upgrades for an epic glow up. And guess what we're doing today? It's not in my hand, but it's in my hand. Boom! We're changing the steering wheel to a customized steering wheel. Ah, look, it's even got my name on it. I'm super excited to do this and show you guys how to do this. For my particular car, it's super easy and simple, but you can do it too. But it's just, wow. <laughs> Let's get into it. The tools you'll need are a steering wheel and an Allen wrench. Depending on the steering wheel, you might need to use a Phillips screwdriver. Before you start, make sure you turn off your battery. Every car is a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on mine. Ah, I'm so excited to put this in my car. Okay, so now that we're in the car, to start this whole process, you basically, for this car specifically, only need one tool, and that is this little thing right here. It's called an Allen wrench. It has little indents in it for this little tiny indents right here, which are technically the screws. But remember, whenever we touch anything in our cars, we put it in a place where we're not gonna lose it and we're gonna remember where we put it. Because I have that problem literally all the time. For this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we gotta just take all of those six off. So don't strip your bolts, be really, really gentle and careful. That's two. The new steering wheel also comes with hardware. If we lose any of these, we have backups, but I do not recommend losing any parts or any tools that you may have. I always keep them either in a drawer or in a Ziploc and just have them just in case of emergencies. Last one. Okay. Now watch this magic happen. It's gonna pull right off. And you see this little wire? This is connected to the horn. Push this little guy. And bada bing, bada boom, steering wheel is removed and the old horn. For this specific, the new customized steering wheel, we have to remove this backing, which is holding the hardware. Some new ones come like this. Then all your hardware is gonna come right off just like this. This little handy dandy wire will actually connect to here, which is gonna control your horn. But remember, the reason why I was able to pull this all out without being electrocuted or anything like that, the battery is disconnected from this whole system, so that's why the horn's not going bah! the whole time. For this one, it has little two inputs where you can plug the horn, because usually there's two wires, a power and a ground, but we're just gonna go ahead and slide this right through where we can. So now we can put the steering wheel back on. What I did before this is I removed the adapter that was right behind here because the holes and the bolts didn't fit and line up and match correctly to this hub. So usually in different types of cars, sometimes they won't fit entirely right and that's okay. They have adapters for that or you can remove the adapter and this one has all the holes that you needed. We put it in a place where we're not gonna lose it. The horn is straight, the wheel is straight. We're gonna grab this plate that this specific customized steering wheel came with. We're gonna make sure it all lines up right in here. And I'm, when I am specifically placing the bolt, I like to do it in a star pattern, so we're gonna go like this. So I'm gonna start right down here. And before we tighten anything, we wanna always finger screw them in. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of In The Know Glow Garage, where I showed you all how to change your own steering wheel to a fully customizable one. I mean, come on, how do you not love this? It's literally shaped as a heart. But before you try any of this stuff, make sure you unplug your battery, because safety first. But have fun, be creative, and go out there and get it, y'all. Bye.